Hey guys, I don't know if I want to use this darn light. Oh, okay. I didn't want to use this big old light. Hey guys, um, I'm gonna see, um, let folks start coming in for a little bit. I'm gonna give it about two minutes before I start. I apologize, man. This thing is trying to connect, and I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, the title is what it is. Um, suicide with me, right? I, um, I decided to speak on this topic only because of how I feel right now. And that I know, uh, you know, but just by doing a little research and talking um, to other, uh, and again, guys, um, not to interrupt myself, but you can, um, if you have any um, stories or anything that you might feel might can help off of the title that um that this ms monday is uh, you you can um you can get on the feed with me and we can all talk it over um you just have to send a request over or let me know and um i can bring you over but um yeah around November and um, December, I really, 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 really get hit hard with emotional thoughts. Um, there's a couple of reasons for it. Um, I'm going to go in depth with my part five of my redemption. Um, so be on the lookout for that and you can probably understand me a little bit more when you hear those stories, but to talk about being diagnosed with MS and the chain events that led after being diagnosed or even the chain of events that happened before being diagnosed so you another thing excuse me for my brain farts um if i say something um more than once or it doesn't come out or you can't understand it um i'm getting hit hard over here these past couple of days um I, I, I've been calling it crashing, uh, like a computer crash in my brain, and and I've been rebooting. Um, I, I just reboot out of nowhere, and you know, I could be standing here like I'm talking to you guys. This is another thing I've been. If I'm talking to you guys, and then uh, just all of a sudden doze off, and you hear me snoring, yeah, I'm asleep. But uh, the pain that um, you welcome. Um, Miss Brooks, the pain that my body is sustaining right now, I think is a little too much and it basically just shuts me down. Um, but yeah, one main reason why I can see someone contemplating about I'm tired. I can't go through this anymore. I just basically need to get rid of myself. You know, and it's that main thing that you think about the world would be better off with me. Um, we're going to get to that in just a moment, but think about that. That's how a lot of uh, the patients that go through that. That's one of the things that floats in their mind. The world would be better off. Why? So, um, 
prior to me getting diagnosed, I had just been informed that, and you guys know this story, a lot of you guys do, um, some of you guys might not know, um, you, I was hit with, um, my wife, well, my ex-wife, um, going through a divorce, uh, comes out of the blue, easy as day, and informs me that I love you, but I just don't, I'm just not in love with you. Um, and it was Father's, around my Father's Day. Yeah, I got my Father's Day present. And, um, and she basically told me, um, I took it, I took it how a person that cares about somebody should take something like that. It hit hard. Uh, now, this is not no, I'm not telling this story so somebody can be like, oh, that's a mean and hateful person. That's a nasty person. Um, I can't say I ain't feel like it was nasty. I can't say that it didn't hurt. Um, I can't say that the thought of taking somebody out was very much so across my head, right? Um, well, it was a bottom line for everything that went down. Um, but the marriage just couldn't be saved. But anyway, um, hearing this, knowing this, we got somebody joining in. Hi. Hi, man. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Oh man. Uh, I'm 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 doing. <laughs> That's all I can say. I'm dealing. I'm I'm trying to do. I feel you. I feel you. You know, I just put check Facebook and I saw the topic, and I say, oh, I gotta talk because. In August, I was like, not the pain, but you know, in August, my kids was away. Uh -huh. I was home alone. And I have so many, like, so many financial and like emotional. So everything was dark. Yes. Like, so is darkness. Like, nothing was in light. And I was like, and when I call my kids, they say, hi, mom. I wanted to talk to them. And they say, oh, mom, yeah, we're going to call you back. And I, at the end, I say, oh, my God, nobody wants me. Nobody in my body, I barely can walk. Yeah. You know, I don't, all I see is darkness. And, I, and that's when I say, you know what? Let me start praying. Because if, I, if, it's, if my faith is not strong, I know why people kill them, themselves. Exactly. Yeah. And I and I start praying, but if it was not in the power of faith, I I would not be here today to talk, you know. So just because this and you know, me being African, I am around I'm surrounding to many ignorant people. People are so ignorant about what we go through. Yes. 
so they say oh you need to you need to take some up you need to do this and i say you guys don't know what we go through yeah this is and that is that is so uh that is so true and and that's the reason why i wanted to uh talk about it because like um you there are so many of us going through this and there you know they might not have that 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 faith aspect of how how you just state your faith is and not feel the same way well you know now uh, people with different religions and, and are not a religion at all so but, but can, what can a person in that situation um do and i i personally don't know to be honest with you i mean i know you know what is it positive mental attitude yes because now i'm in the point that i don't care anymore is about me yeah, it's about yeah. didi how did he feel i say whatever is in my mind because what i go through now i don't i'm not a people pleaser anymore so now everything is about me i do what i want i eat what i eat i feel what i feel if i don't feel like doing this i'm not going to do it and that's what give you the sanity of you know dealing with this disease because it's not easy and you know i don't i'm telling you it's not easy some days i get up in the morning i barely can walk but what i do i just shake it i do my prayers and i say god you got me and by the time i get to my job i'm like a victoria secret model i'm serious <laughs> No, I'm I'm serious because you know this I'm I'm so happy because we need to start helping people who's going through this because that's bad. Multiple sclerosis, people don't know. My community nobody know what I go through. They yep. see me, I look good on Facebook and all of that. I know they will like, "Oh, this yes, I like to associate sometime to my people going to show that I still got it going on." Because some days <laughs> yes, and that's the positive mental attitude. I make sure I put my wig, put my makeup and do everything so you know. <laughs> yes, honey. Well, well I I thank you. Some uh, night I don't sleep. Some night I don't sleep, you know. Yeah. It's, you know, people don't know what we go through. Some days I have slurry speech, you know. Yesterday I told a friend of mine I said I need to go to a school to start learning to speak again because I'll be having slurry speech. You yes. Know? Yes. Some yes. I barely can control my bladders and all of that. So, uh, uh, honey, now is about me. Is the time now with this my kids even know. Everybody I and I'm a bully now. Everybody say something I say, you know you got to do this because I have MS. So <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time I love MS because the only time I love MS now I'm a bully. If I anything I want. <laughs> oh yes. god. Yeah, even my job, you know, now when they say Didi you got to do this I say, "Uh, mm, sir, I can't. You know I get anxiety. You know I got MS." So that's the <laughs> When I have pimple in my face people and I sell cosmetic and some days I don't look good I have to put and when people come and say we say how come you have this I say ma'am don't tell me that you know I got MS you know <laughs> Oh yeah, when I go from work you know and these a bumper to bumper I be bumping all these tourists and I, when they look at me I say excuse me you know I got MS you know <laughs> <laughs> so anybody who's thinking about suicide I say that's a no no just keep the faith make medication faith to be your medication have a positive mental attitude you don't have to prove yourself to no one but yourself you, you, whatever religion that you believe if you buddhist if you christian or something it's always a higher power that you believe because you, you know god don't 
God don't make a mistake, you know. It's me, Laron, come, I'm going to tell you some, something. MS was the best thing that ever happened to me. Do you, there's a lot of people that say that. Yeah. Uh, DD, you might be going through a uh, bad area because uh, you sound like a robot now. I might have lost you. Um, Hello. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, had, you, you got me. Break, you started breaking up. Yeah, I got you now. Yes, uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, and my self-esteem is so strong now, you cannot tell me nothing. So what didn't kill you or make you stronger and MS make me stronger. So please, not not suicide is not a, no. That's a no no. Life no. is life to live. You know, if you have problems, uh, I'm gonna be raw. I'm gonna be. Uh, if you, if he's a man, you got problems sexually, you can fix it. If you're a woman, you cannot arouse. Use some dildo, honey bar is nothing. Shit, you know, <laughs> no excuse, no suicide. Uh. <laughs> yes, if you don't have company, you cannot find a boyfriend or girlfriend. Shit, you know, start loving yourself. Love, you have to live to love yourself. <laughs> live being, a, <laughs> I'm serious. You know, it's no excuse to go kill yourself. Life is too good. You're, you're so right. And you, wait, the, 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 the thing that you stated, uh, well, you just said this a uh, couple seconds ago, which um, I'm trying to be a face of is men um i'm constantly when i do go and see my doctor or go get my treatment there are not that many men there um when i'm talking on the uh, uh doing some type of um uh, feed or, or, or conversation um uh, i have really nothing uh, not too many men chime in like the ladies do. And I feel that Uh, okay, I'm, I, I had lost my feed. Did, did you get that last uh, word I was saying about men? Yes, uh -huh, I got it. Uh huh. Okay, and, and, but that's the that's the thing. And I said what I said to get to where you are like, okay, if you don't have that that faith aspect, now you have to bring in that confidence because. That's what's been that's what's been taken away from us when we get diagnosed, uh, because everything changes and it's abruptly, and some people have so many um, friends and family members, spouses, uh, or partners just walk all kinds of lives, and even all the way down to where their kids might start acting a little strange towards them so that in itself can can be um emotionally draining and so when you say that i was glad for you to say that for me um because that no, because, yeah i'm sorry to cut you but that's the reality because we need to st like uh, start telling the truth like we like i've been diagnosed now is like three years and we've been through that, so we start needing, yeah. yeah, we start needing to tell people the truth, you know, what we go through. Yeah. Because, yeah, because, you know, if you don't say that, people would, you know, how many people tell me, oh, you're going to end up in the wheelchair. I say, yeah, I'm going to be a sexy diva, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many guys? How many guys, you know, I went on a blind date and, you know, and I don't like them. And the best thing I say, uh, you know, I have uh, this disease. 
is contagious. I got <laughs> just to tell you. <laughs> That's funny, cause um, yes. I um, it's 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 just the 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 uh financial thing, like you were saying, that that makes it even worse because um, take like in, in my situation where um. After child support and my Medicare, uh, I'm I'm bringing home what four fifteen, and my doctor tells me that I can't work, and you can't live off of four hundred dollars a month. <laughs> That's the same thing Social Security Disability told me, but you know I say you know what it's not that serious. I can hustle my ass. So the thing is, you know, you are not a victim. You are a victor. Yeah. So that's the stuff that you can do, you know. And that's what I'm trying to do. Because right now, I pity, like, uh, especially in my African community, imagine somebody who don't know what is MS. Yeah. What is, imagine a single mom who don't know what is MS. It's just happening. I was lucky, you know, that I was lucky to do, like, I have faith. I have support, like good support. I have good friends. Even right now, you know, I'm in. I'm right now having dinner with some group of friends who was there for me when I was in the hospital. Like when the beginning, I was in the hospital for 15 times by myself. Wow. Yes. And I have to take care of three beautiful kids. Only my, I got my cousin. But if that, you know, you don't have that emotion, like that's when I put my faith in God and know through everything is my everything so suicide you know we're gonna have a lot of challenge yeah but suicide you know anybody who's going through ms suicide is a no-no yo my life they can I give me some of their life to add on because i want to live forever Shit. <laughs> and i'm <go> <laughs> you can see you know i want to live forever and if I limp, I want my sexy limping to be forever limping, you know? <laughs> you know? Anything that happened in your life, you know, if it's negative, use it in the positive side. Yeah. You know? And that's how I live with MS, you know, because that's not something I can erase it in a day. So let me just now make it funny. So now, when they talk about MS, I want to be the sexiest part positive part of MS, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, that's, that's what I'm, uh, that's another thing, how I look at it, too. Um, it, it's not, if I'm going to be miserable, I'm going to be funnily miserable about it. I, I'm, I'm going to laugh about everything that I do, flip over, fall, drool. I, I, I see it funny. Me, and my kids now, like the other day, my, 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 my brother say, oh, I'm coming to visit you because I want the kids to tell me the tale of when mommy get the shot because I do the play greedy. And if you can see my, my, the little one, he's eight, he say, what mommy do when he, he say, my mom will limp and curve and say, don't give me anxiety. You know, I'm getting my shot. Oh my God. You know, guys, clean my house. You know, it's not that serious. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now I'm the joke. My daughter today, this morning, you know, and it's good. I'm telling you, God don't make mistake. My my daughter did like a, uh, today a, a big essay. My daughter did a big essay about MS today. And the teacher called me and said, we need you. And I got to school and my kids was talking about me, you know? So that's, I'm telling you. So what look like, you know, is negative become positive for me. Exactly. And for that also today, make me to, I'm telling you, the other day, like it was a rally against slavery and I was supposed to go. And I called my, my brother, I said, oh my God, tomorrow I'm going to the rally of, 
against slavery. I'm going to rally all day. He laughed. He said, no, just say you're going to limp all day. <laughs> <laughs> So funny. that's the beauty. Yeah, that's the beauty about it. I just live like my life. You know, I don't care about what people say. Now, you know, it's, it's a new way of living. And I'm going to live it to the fullest, fullest, you know. Changing my diet, you know, thinking positive. I don't care, you know. I look sexy. I go out, you know. I do whatever I want to do. Shit. Even <laughs> MS make me more nauseous now. Shit. I don't care, you know. And... <laughs> Anybody who's missing. <laughs> no, you know, because we cannot make ourselves like a victim. No, that's a no, no. Mm -mm. No. Yeah. yeah we yeah. go through a lot. Some days you cannot sleep. Some days, you know, you have urine retention. You got all of that, the anxiety, you know, everything. Like uh, on Saturday, I have my hand shaking like, you know, anxiety, like, like Muhammad Ali. I was so scared, then, but after I said, mm, positive, I took a video and I sent it to my mom. I said, now put my name, my name, put Didi Ali. He said, what is that? I said, my hand is shaking like Muhammad Ali. So, you know, now I'm a celebrity. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we laugh about it, you know, instead of me crying, you know, no, I laugh. I make it a joke and we look for a solution, you know, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm asking everybody to do so because we need to empower all the generation. That's the, I pray God that we find a cure, but yeah. we, every day somebody is being diagnosed and they have to look up to us. So we need to be the role model. We need to be the face of MS. You know? Uh, you know, and that's that's my that right there is my biggest thing. Uh, you know, I don't know how people look at uh, how I'm I'm popping up and saying that I'm trying to do this, I'm wanting to do that, I'm hoping to do this. Um, and it's kind of like the uh, shirts that I'm designing. Um, I. We are, we are like, uh, we're like the uh, pioneers, as in, we're going through the stages that we're going through to assist others that are being diagnosed after us. And if we don't, if we don't push and try to fight through what we're going through, we're not really sure. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be. It's easier. It's easier for. It's easier for someone to give up when they don't see anybody um, on, you know, on any aspect or a plane um, saying that I'm gonna fight. You know this monster. You know you see folks talking about fighting cancer. You see folks talking about. Um, uh, L, L, uh, ALS and AIDS and all this, but you don't see people saying you know you, you have the drugs coming on on commercials now about. Uh, Leon, look, you see, this is one of my sister. The last time on my birthday, she gave me a kit and tell me I just want you to feel better. So this oh. is like support yeah. that you know. <laughs> Well, see, now I'm jealous. <laughs> but that is so cool. I, I tell her I appreciate her and I thank her for being there for you. Yeah, so that's the type, yeah. Yeah, you was, yeah, you right, Laron. Like you, when I first got diagnosed and I find you on Facebook and I was watching your message and stuff and you get it to the point, the, my question, you was answering my question. Because I didn't know when they say MS, I say, what the heck is that? Shit, I don't know. So then I start doing, I say, but this is white people disease. 
That's Caucasian disease. Why do I have that? And I told my mom, what did you do to me? <laughs> I say coming from the motherland in Africa and coming to the U.S., uh-uh. I say, I know I did a white guy before, but you know, what kind of disease do I get? <laughs> so questioning all of that, you know, but then after, you know, watching you and after Valerie and talking to you guys, you guys was very good to me. And that's what we need to do. We need to be a positive group. And I saw, and one of a friend of mine said, oh, you need to go to a support group. And I went one to one support group. Everybody was like, I said, hell to the no. I'm not going to this. It's like I'm mourning somebody. I want to leave. It's, 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 it's sad. It's really, you, you, you <laughs> it's, um, I, I went to one in, um, uh, 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 um, and, I'm not like you. I want to go to another one because I'm a little bit more. Uh, that was back when I was less, less confident in what I'm doing now. And I actually want to go to another one now just to sit up here and say, Hello. I cannot go to none of those because when I go, I want to go where we're dancing, we're laughing. We all limping, yeah. even if you are in a wheelchair, you're leaving. Yeah. But I don't want to go in, you're talking about, oh, when is the next time? I don't want to think about death. Yeah. I don't want to think about medicine. I don't want to think about, I want to live my life positive, in the positive way. So those groups give you depression. You want to kill yourself? That's a suicide by going to those groups. You know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, Auntie. Yeah, I am not going. So <laughs> now on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my dinner, enjoy myself. That was nice talking to you. Yeah, and you need to pay me, but you owe me money because I make you laugh. Uh, so you owe me money. You gotta pay me that. So you know, <laughs> honey, I'm African. We love money. So. <laughs> you, so now you you're bullying me now, huh? Yes, because what? I have MS. You MS? <laughs> <laughs> well, Didi, you have fun. I appreciate you coming on. I thank you and so, love you so that much. It was nice talking to you. So anytime you do life and you need me, always feel free. And anybody you know that going through something, they want to talk, I'm mind open, I will help because God don't make mistake, you know? Because yeah. I'm telling you, the darkness in MS is the worst. And you need support. You know, you really need support. Yes, 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 yes. Well, have fun, love. Love you, and I'll uh, talk to you soon. I love you more. That was nice talking to you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, bye. Okay, bye-bye. Well, that was nice for Miss Dee Dee to pop on like that. Uh, it, she basically spoke. <laughs> I didn't really have to get in detail <laughs> on what I was going through and the reason why I um, went through the moments of um, uh, I don't want to. Oh, um. Yeah, I, I really didn't have to go into detail about um, the reason why I went through what I went through. And so just to, just to boil it down, uh, my marital relationship, I was lost. Um, I used to, like, walk the streets. And, and, and just hope that somewhere, somehow, um, something to take my life. You know, I really ain't personally want to take it. Uh, I, I, you know, that's the thing about um, su suicidal thoughts. Um, at that time, you know, I wasn't. I wasn't mentally to a point to where I physically wanted to do it. I want it to be done somehow um and so to 
end up having a series of vicious arguments. One night, I went through one hellish um, I don't know, was it a stomach virus? Um, or, or, or something. My, my body just basically said Boom, it just exploded on me, right? Um, if any, and, and again, you know, um, if anybody else wants to chime in, like DD, you feel free, you know, just let me know, and, and I'll go ahead and add you if you have anything to say. And I, I'm, that's like my second guess I've had. And guys, feel free, you know, you see a topic and you want to talk about it, even if you just want to ask me questions, even if you just want to ask and at, at, at my advice, I would try my best to give you the best advice that I can give you. And don't quote me on that saying that it is the best advice, but you know, that is um that is what that is. Um but I got so sick that my I had a temp of a hundred and four. It just so happened my ex wife was uh She's a CNA certified. And so um, I didn't go to the emergency room because the emergency room here is like, you'd be in there for so long and around right the time that I got sick. It was like, uh, hell to the no, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, I actually, I'm a God fearing man. I'm like, dang, I got my wish. But this is horrible. I don't want to go like this. I don't want to go like this. I wanted it just to be quick and fast and easy. But, oh, my God, I feel like I got to throw up, which I can't stand throwing up. Just throwing up is like, oh. And so I'm like, okay, she bathing me down with ice and all this stuff. And, you know, I went through the night sweating my butt off, going through so much pain. And I woke up the next morning. And I'm like, dang. It was almost like. It was almost like. I got to pull up my phone up, guys. It was almost like nothing really happened. But, and how I could tell. How I can tell something happened. Was because of. Um. Only because Hold on. I don't think my phone is charging. Oh, okay, yes it is. Um only way that I knew that I was kinda sick is be um is um you know like if you have a stomach virus and you done been throwing up so much and like your stomach is like saying, dude, I don't know what the heck happened, but I went through so much pain last night. I'm trying to fix this during camera. I don't want to. Oh, well. Uh, I guess I can hold it until the end of the thing because I'm actually going over, but I just want to finish this side of the story. Um, my body was basically like, hey, I don't know what you did last night, what you drank, uh, but bruh, don't do it no more. And so I'm watching TV. I was watching, I was watching TV and, um, I'm like, something wrong with my vision, but whatever still trying to watch tv and one of my eyes with well, my mind said dude close close your left eye and i'm trying to figure out why my mind telling me to close my left eye like that's weird who minds just all of a sudden just come out of the blue and say yo dude <laughs> close your left eye for me bro but anyway me i closed my left eye because it was so weird my mind's talking to me like that. And you know they say you don't answer your mind because then, then they, 
you know, they say something wrong with you, but that was so cool, right? So I closed my left eye, and then I'm like, oh, my God, I can't see. Uh, So blind in, in my right eye, uh, and, you know, a lot of you guys heard this story. I went to my eye doctor. My eye doctor basically explained to me that something was wrong sent me to go get an mri what eye doctor tells you to get an mri your brain so i knew he knew something so he basically sent me down that path of um finding out that i had ms but uh what i put myself through the pain and the depression that I dragged myself through only because I didn't, I, I couldn't control somebody else. And what I mean about that is, let them go. And, you know, we find ourselves in this predicament now. When we get diagnosed, people can't handle the fact that we're not the same person anymore. Even though... We know who we are and what we were to that person and what we've done for that person is almost like, hey, why are you treating me like this? Come on and let it go. Let them go. Friends as well. Because obviously that lets you know what that type of who that type of person really is. And they were just in love. They were in love with the fact of who you were at the time. Not in love with you inside and out. Because true love doesn't buckle. True love fights. True love does what it's supposed to do if you say those vows through, to sickness, through sickness and health. Either we die together or whoever dies before whomever, the other person is holding that person's hand and saying goodbye and I love you versus no, 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 you sick, I can't do this anymore, you're not cooking like you used to cook. Uh, I, uh, I just can't, I can't find myself going through this no more. I can't do it. I can't do it. No, 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 no. Don't leave. Let that person go. And sad to say it, even when it comes down to family members as well. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Even when it comes down to family members, uh, let it go. Kids that are adults that are being asses let them go because you more likely will be in a position where they're going to need you before you need them regardless if you have an ms regardless if you going through what you're going through less hypothetically speaking ms does take your life and they didn't get a chance to be right there with you because they were being a butt. That's going to hunt that person. Whomever that person is, family members, siblings, uh, kids, spouses, partners, co-workers, you know, they're, it's going to hit them hard. And like Dee Dee basically was saying, I'm not going to get on to the other part of the other side of um, me going through suicidal thoughts. Um, it's just like me going to get, 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 getting this new medication and me going through these past couple of days of what I'm going through. It's like everything has been trying to fall apart for me to put me in a depression state, which... I'm not going to lie, I have been slipping into that, but I've been clawing and, 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 and punching and, and trying and to get, I'm sorry if you guys look and like, why the heck this 
dude keep licking his lips. I got like, uh, oh, my lips been dry, whatever. I've been drinking water. I think I got some to do with some medicine. But, we're MS warriors. We're pioneers. We can't allow an illness like this basically tell us who we are and sad to say is coupled by the surrounding people that fail to realize that we're not lying that we're not crazy that we're not um, senile that we're not delusional we just got MS and we're wanting you to realize that we got MS that even goes out to some doctors that dismiss the fact that MS is out there and people are being diagnosed and that there's something seriously freaking wrong with me and you insist putting band-aids on it and then when I get worse oh hmm oh I go to another doctor I'm gonna be honest that's a sign of sumit there you know yeah I don't know if that's a word or not but it's a word today sumit when I just go and get me a lawyer and I sign them papers and we suing you cause maybe I could have had something going on Oh, well, thank you, Miss Robinson. I do appreciate that. And I, I, I am, um, I'm, be, I'm proud of anybody that's, that's watching this because, um, a lot of the people that watch this, some of them, um, are scared and they just need that push to go out and say, you know what? He's right. Ain't nothing wrong with me. I have MS. Don't get me wrong, I have a mess, but there's nothing wrong with me. The way that you're making me feel, the the way that you uh, alienating uh, alienating me. Uh, I think I said that right. Um is wrong. I'm not going to take it. Like Dee Dee was saying, and that's why I get the uh most sexy from. Um Tag most sexy, the MS most sexy, you know, I got that's why I get that from because I realize that I'm only sexy when I allow myself to be. I take all of that away when I sit and I say I give up. And if I'm not giving up, you guys can't give up. If you're wanting to give up and you're watching this, inbox me. Let's talk. If you're watching this and you're wanting to give up and you don't want to inbox me, look at this face. Change your mindset and your attitude, and you ain't gonna hurt. I gotta roll my nigga. You ain't gonna hurt my feelings. You ain't gonna hurt my feelings that you don't wanna inbox me and get out of your your emotional feelings. But you gonna get out of your emotional feelings, and we gonna sit up here and we gonna beat this together. You understand me? We're gonna sit up here and we're gonna pave a way for our fellow MS warriors, and we're gonna rock the out of this thing and we're gonna beat him we're gonna knock it out of the park and we're gonna do what we do and so with that i say good night i love you guys and my topic for next week is one heck of a topic for myself and um um just
حفظ کنم to then and i'm sorry about not being able to do it on my regular day which is monday but we're back on schedule next week uh it's gonna be very you know what no my it's not the topic next monday the topic next monday is road trip i forgot about that uh, i'm going to get my treatment my first dosage of ocrevus so i'm gonna be posting like throughout the day this is part of my redemption road And thank you for anybody that's jumping on a road trip with me to me losing 30 pounds within the next month because December is getting very short. Um, and my fight to make MS aware. Love you guys. Um, again, thank you, Didi. And that, that shows you that, hey, stop holding your tongue. Come join me. Let's do this thing. And if no one has told you, I need you to know. Share this video. Don't sit and don't, don't deny what just happened from other people that need to know that they're not alone. Stop sitting on your butt and feeling bad because I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't care that there are millions of people like myself out there in the world that are struggling financially, physically, and emotionally. I love you guys and we're going to find a way to beat this. Good night.